From a sold out Carmichael Auditorium on the campus of the University of North Carolina, it's ACC basketball. Tonight, the Terrapins of Maryland at 7-3 against the Tar Heels of North Carolina at 10-3. 17 minutes and 20 seconds to go first half. This is Branch, has all sorts of moves. Double pump, got the basket and drew the foul. He got Brad Doherty up in the air and waited. That time he gave Sam Perkins a little of his own jump hook. In fact, left-handed. Perkins, great pass to Jordan for the jam. That's smart basketball, Mike. Carolina playing mostly man-to-man, -man, and that's not surprising with the new three-point basket. Adkins, nice, nice, nice drive. Adkins. Jeff Adkins, he's got six points, and Maryland's on top, 15-11. Quickly back the other way. Peterson can't get a shot, had to dump it off. Now Hale for three. Braddock, this is Curtis Hunter. His jumper is no good. Branch behind the back dribble. Nice move. Ahead to Fothergill, back to Branch. Pass to Coleman, and he scores. The offense has been able to beat them to different spots on the floor and hit those long jumpers. Branch, nice move to get free for a second, and triple team and hands it anyhow. Maryland is in a boxing one. Here's Perkins inside. Missed the shot, follow tip, no good. Jordan got it inside. One thing that's definitely hurt Maryland this second half is Branch's shot selection. He shot about four off balance. There he is, another one. Oh! He didn't call board, though. I wonder if they'll get <laughs> This is another non-shooting foul. Carolina with the ball. Jordy back outside. This is Jordan. Got it. They just go to him when they need it, and he comes through. He's something else that we might be able to talk about later this season. Here's Adkins. Off to Fothergill, maybe on Adkins. Offensive foul, it is. Adkins got by his man, but then Jordan came over. Somebody came over to help out. They've gotten two layups doing it. Really made it work. Here's Jordan going one-on-one, -on -one, and he got it. Just a great inside move. He just jumped over three Maryland players. Good shot. Two points. He's just incomparable. There aren't really words to describe what Michael Jordan can do. Here's a screen. Branch, long range, and he misses again. Adrian not having a good ball game. Here is Braddock on the drive, and a score. And now it's Carolina by three. He's that confidence. That should help him a little bit, but he's got to be patient. Take his shot. He's got another one. Oh, oh look out for Adrian Branch. So they won't have to shoot again. Here's a collision between two Carolina players as they go down. Jordan may be charged for an offensive foul, but he's not going to be. I believe the call is going to go against Herman Veal. Hale looking for Doherty, has him wide open in the circle. Try to get it inside of Jordan, and he scores. What a move! First half, Adkins double teamed to Coleman, and he jams it. Adkins being dogged by Peterson, double teamed, tries to get rid of it, and barely does. Here's the feed to Coleman to Branch. Boy, Maryland is dodging one bullet after another. Makes this one, uh, Maryland may be able to hold it for the last shot. And I guess Jeff still can't hear me right now. We'll set it up as soon as we can. Jordan hits the free throw again, and it's tied 69-69. This is Baxter against pressure. Long pass to Branch. Branch to Veal. Veal puts it up and in. And Maryland retakes the lead. There you see the clock, 24 seconds. Could it be a three-point play? Will they go for that? Braddock May does not take the shot. Jordan to Braddock. 15 seconds left. Braddock, three-pointer. That really takes courage to do that. You're down by two. Instead of working the ball inside to try to tie it, to go for the lead on a three-pointer. North Carolina 72, Maryland 71. The Terps with the basketball, five seconds left. Adkins to Chuck Drizel. Drizel drives the baseline, it's blocked. Ball's out of bounds, there's no time left on the clock. Maryland got what they wanted. Chuck Drizel made a great baseline drive. He went up in traffic. 
It looked like a clean block. On the replay, you could see that Jordan came from the weak side to get a hand on it. Certainly, Durazel had a wide open shot at the bucket. And it was really Jordan. Perkins may have gotten a fingertip on it. But if it hadn't been for Michael Jordan, I think Chuck Rizell would have been able to come through and hit that basket and win the ball game for Maryland.